Hey guys, this is Star Tolyong, and in this video, you will see 10 plays that might look dumb, but are actually really good plays in Dora 2. When your Phantom embraces a target and the target dies, the Phantom refreshes the cooldown. When the Phantom survives the full duration, it returns and refreshes the cooldown as well. So technically, you can Phantom a dying creep and once the creep dies, you get to throw two Phantom Embracers on your opponents. Helicopter, helicopter. When you're taking creep damage or any attack and your moment of courage goes on cooldown, it means that if you hit a creep, you will get to proc it on your next attack. If you're denying a creep while the procs happen, it does not go on cooldown and you can have infinite hits for a deny. When your enemies are all dead and you're waiting for Roshan to spawn, you can drop a gem in the Roshan pit to scout Roshan. In this current patch, when you load into a game, you have 40 seconds to sell your item for the full price. This means that any hero can start with a boots and run towards the tier 2 tower, drop the boots and sell them with your courier. This will get you out of the base quicker to plant wards. You can slightly roll outside of the map to displace yourself into a different position. This way, your enemy can't chase you because you don't break the trees in your path. But here is another next level trick. When you roll outside of the map, you can get a glimpse of flying vision. So if your stepsister is stuck, you don't know if you're gonna walk into an enemy, you can roll out of the map to check if anyone is there. It is common for players to stick near the walls during Pango Row so that they get bounced up the high ground and avoid the pinball. You can use the same logic when you're playing against Clockwork. Normally, you break the cocks and run, but if you're trapped near cliffs, you can break the cocks towards the cliff and push yourself up the high ground to avoid the clock. If you have already cast Fisher and you died on Earthshaker, you can always buy back and stun your target from your base with the shard. It is very common to instant cut tree with a Quailing Blade against Hoodwing, so it is very hard to combo. Valve also made it very hard to use Bushwhack before Acorn Shot if you are in a very close range. When you use it far away, it is unlikely that you hit the skill shot. So if your target has a Quelling Blade, you can do this instead. Roll out your Acorn Shot to slow or to damage your opponents. This is to tell your opponents that it is on cooldown. Then, Bushwhack and plant a branch. Your opponents won't see this coming. When you are playing Primal Beast against Magnus, you can intentionally allow yourself to be skewered and probably one-shot the Magnus with Trample. Here is a very interesting way to plan your ward. This ward allows you to see the runes and the entrance to the middle lane. 
if your opponents place a sentry on the high ground, they cannot see this ward. They will need an observer on the high ground or flying vision to see it, which means that if they deward it, you know that they have a ward on the high ground, so it is a free deward. For the dire top mid hill, you need to cut a tree to place it. This gives good vision at the rune area to the middle lane. Without an observer ward on the high ground or any flying vision, this ward cannot be detected. When you are placing this ward, you have to avoid putting it on the edge. For Radiant, this spot will not work. Because if there is a sentry on a hill, walking up this ramp will see it. So instead, cut this tree and plant it. This ward gives good vision of the entrance into the triangle and the Roshan pit. Without a ward on the high ground or flying vision, this ward cannot be detected. For the bottom side radiant, you can plant it right here. This is a very good dire side vision because you will spot enemy entering your triangle. Without a high ground ward or high ground vision, you cannot detect this ward. But if you stand on the dire high ground, you can detect this ward, which is why I say it is a pretty good dire ward. Thank you for watching the video. Shout out to my sugar days for the support.